Hello and welcome back to the Into the Jungle podcast. My name is Jasmine Bell, your host, and I'm joined alongside my favorite co-host. I'll let him introduce himself. I'm Dan Hawk, play-by-play voice for Broken Arrow Athletics, along with a video producer and all kinds of stories across the school district as well. That's awesome. We have some special guests in the studio with us today. I'll let them introduce themselves as well. Hi, I'm Hunter Martins. I am a senior here at Broken Arrow, and I am in yearbook, football, student council, about everything you can think of, oh, yeah. yeah. How about you? Um, I'm Bailey. I'm also a senior. I help out with Aerovision, FCA, technically anything you gotta really can. Awesome, awesome. Well, today we're in the studio to discuss all things FCA. And so for those that don't know, Hunter, explain, what is FCA? So FCA is kind of our outreach at BA on Thursday mornings of we bring in different churches all around BA to kind of speak out about the word of Christ and try to connect more with everybody at BA, whether it be somebody that doesn't know who God is, it might be their their plug into it, or it may just be the, hey, come join us, come eat a donut. Obviously, everybody likes the donut part. Right, right. But we we wanted to kind of have an uplift year, kind of a rebuild year, and it's it's been amazing so far. Bailey, for you, why did you participate in FCA? Well, I mean, I started last year, and that was, like, when, like, nobody was really there. And it was just kind of a thing that I can just help out or honestly just get into my word to just start my morning with. So I really honestly just liked it, and so I just kept on going with to it. Now, how has your experience been being a part of FCA, and how long have you been in FCA? So I went my sophomore year, and it was kind of just there was nobody really there. Um, my friend James Tackett was like, hey, come join this. We're trying to get this better. And it was maybe six, seven people. Mm-hmm. And it was on Friday mornings. So we kind of switched that up from the junior year. I got the chance to speak at Breaking Down the Walls in front of maybe 30 people. And now with it being this year, there was over 600-something people. Wow. It was mm-hmm. – we, we really took an initiative on us students to kind of make this what we want it to be so us seniors could leave and have that impact made on FCA. That's powerful. For you guys, what has your role been from when it started to where it is now? You can start, Hunter. So um, Mr. Thompson actually was the one that kind of like set the group up, but he wasn't going to be like the leader of it. So there's a group of us guys and girls that got together um, a couple weeks before And we had said, like, what's going to be the best day, the best time? We need to have, like, a structure of what speakers, like Life Church, Assembly, Battle Creek. And we basically just made it, like, a schedule, almost like a football game almost, Mm. of it's at 720 every Thursday morning. We need somebody to bring donuts, have a speaker, and have people ready to play the games. And, yeah, that's really how it became. It was more of we had taken it on ourselves and just had the – just everybody just kind of sit back and watch it. Yeah. How about you, Bailey? Um, well, I don't really know. There wasn't that big of a deal because when I first got into it, I didn't actually know there was four athletes because I'm not an athlete. So I was like – Athlete yeah, at heart. You're ath- part of AeroVision. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but I kind of just went to it because I'm like, oh, Christian, I want to be in there. Mm-hmm. And so it's gotten a lot better, especially this year because now there like a lot of more people are actually wanting to know more and – um, a lot more people are actually participating and it's like not just like a participation type of thing but like more people are and in being involved mm-hmm. now I want to ask what has been your favorite part being a part of FCA my favorite part honestly just hearing what everybody else has to say because there's always going to be a new person and um, uh, new things that are going to be talked about and but they're all going to be leading back to God so I just love hearing other people's input how about you Hunter it's honestly seeing the growth that I've seen on myself as a leader in that aspect and also seeing the growth as a whole community coming together. Um, seeing this same familiar faces and then you see some that come and then some will go, obviously you can't always show up Thursday mornings, but just to see the impact that we have already started and knowing that it's just going to keep building, it, it just warms my heart, obviously. like it's, it's what Christ is wanting to do and he's got plans for us up here at BA. Awesome. I don't know if you could follow it up with that, Jazz. <laughs> well, I do want to ask. There's, I know for myself, I've participated in FCA for a few years, and I've been in and out, and I just know there has to be a core memory. Was there a specific church that came or a pastor that came that really left an impact on you? 
Who was the guy that just spoke last week? Literally, yeah, I was literally just who's about that, to say who's that. Who's that guy? I don't know his name. He he had came last week and talked about. He was a storyteller, so every every pastor has his way of sure spreading Getting the gospel. Yes. His his was that he told a story about whenever he used to be like a land worker for one of the, one of his like friends. Oh wow! And he always talked about his dog, his friend's dog. What was the dog's name? <laughs> I don't remember, it, was, it was like weird. He, name. he said that it was one of those dogs with the the gray eyeball and the blue eyeball. It, it was, was like a, it was a mean mean dog. Oh yeah! So he was like. Just don't go near him. So he's telling us, like, don't step into this boundary. So he was saying, like, if you step in that circle, bad things will happen. So obviously he was kind of relating to that as, like, how devil's trying to say, mm. hey, this is going to be okay. Just step over the line. Step over the line. But And then his friend was the god, obviously, and he was saying, like, just listen to him. Go in his footsteps you will be okay type thing. So that left an impact oh, on yeah. you guys. The story was hilarious. It and if was. I could just remember that dog's name. Oh my goodness. Well, we'll be back after the break. Hopefully that'll give you a second to remember the dog's name. This has been an am amazing segment so far. In the next segment, we'll jump into a little bit about your guys' personal testimonies and how this has truly left an impact on your life and how you'll take that into the world. We'll be back here in just a second. At Ascension St. John, you'll find advanced heart care, brain and spine care and personalized cancer care. And we excel just as much in the things that can't be measured. Listening more closely, caring more compassionately. Welcome back to the Into the Jungle podcast. My name is Jasmine Bell. Joined alongside Dan Hogg, Hunter Martins, and Bailey Deacon are in the studio with us today to talk all things FCA. Yeah, it's been pretty special so far. They've been giving us all kinds of the background on FCA. But I got to ask you guys now, what, what has FCA mostly impacted you as an individual? We'll start off with you, Bailey. Um, well, it's helped me to know that there's other people like me and other people that actually want to know more about God. And it's kind of like, so we, I usually go to like Wednesday night services and Sunday night, like Sunday morning services, but now I'm able to like still go to church, but at school, and like get to start my morning with it. That's good. How about you, Hunter? It's, it's almost like a nice like refresher because you go to you go to youth on Wednesday nights and then you wake up Thursday morning and you're going right back into the gospel. So it's almost like what you learn at church from all these different services, you're kind of bringing it all in as one. Mm -hmm. And obviously with going to Sundays as well, it's it's honestly nice. Like it's another day that you just get to spend with all your friends and everybody that just wants to learn more about the gospel. Yeah, I do have to ask now, you guys have been in FCA for a while now, and I know over time we grow. How do you feel being around students that have similar beliefs to you has impacted you in your life? If you have a testimony, this would be an amazing time to share. Yeah, my my like start with church was I had moved down here a while ago, and we it was always Sunday, Sunday and Wednesdays, obviously. So obviously having younger brother, it was always nice to share back and forth of what we learned and whatnot. So we originally started at Life Church. Um, we got into middle school and it kind of just drifted. And then you started to get older and started to realize there's a lot of people that do this. And we we actually outreached to Assembly and we've been going there ever since freshman year. Um, got connected with FCA and it's just been on the rise ever since. Um, I got to share my testimony at the Breaking Down the Walls sophomore year scared to death but I knew <laughs> but I knew that his hand was on my shoulders and he was just going to guide me through it and it went really really smooth. Yeah, I love that. I've had a personal experience of being able to share my testimony and my growth at um this year's leadership retreat and when I tell you though it's freeing to share with others the struggles you've gone through and how you've been able to bounce back from that. Bailey, how about you? Um I don't know. There's been so many different things that I've been able to kind of just be a part of and uh, I've gotten a lot more of my friends to actually come th be there with me because it was a very very small group at a time with just like my, me my sister and a few friends but mm -hmm. now there's a whole bunch of different people that I'm like I forget that are even at the school that I'm like oh my <laughs> goodness hey you go here yeah and it's in good fellowship on Thursday mornings I love what you said earlier it's just going from Wednesday to Thursday it gives you a good opportunity to stay connected with those Absolutely. around you mm -hmm. I gotta ask you this Bailey you know Hunter plays football you do not play sports but you <laughs> talked about the fact that there's a lot of intertwine of non-athletes athletes kind of mixing and broaden your friendship with people that might you might not necessarily associate with how much has FCA allowed that as well well, I'm able to, like, find out what people like to do, like, arts-wise. So I am more of the arts area. 
I like to sing and um, do like like paint and stuff. And so now I get to like see other people's like workmanship and their progress for other things. And I can also find out like what classes they're in, what they're actually interested in that's besides sports or even with sports. Well, when we come back from this break, we'll get a second to get to know them a little bit outside of their FCA roles. We'll be back here in just a second. Tulsa Bone and Joint, Northeast Oklahoma's sports medicine experts. We are pleased to help you and the athletes in your life with a number of surgical and non-surgical options. Tulsa Bone and Joint is proud to serve as team orthopedist for local high schools such as Broken Arrow, Owasso, Sepulpa, Kasha Hall, and Bishop Kelly. We're also proud to be team orthopedist for FC Tulsa. Tulsa Bone and Joint, moving life forward. Welcome back to the Inf the Jungle podcast. My name is Jasmine Bell, joined alongside the Dan Hawk. Hunter Martins and Bailey Deacon are in the studio today. We've been discussing fellow Christian athletes, and it's been great so far. But we're about to play a game. It's called Two Truths and a Lie. And so essentially what's going to happen is we'll start off with the Dan Hawk right here across from me. And you'll tell us your three. We'll have to guess which ones are lies and which one is a truth. This isn't really fair because you know me pretty well by hosting this and doing all our air activities with Aerovision. It's okay. So i got to stump you pretty I, well this time. I got you because last time I think I guessed your lie, right? Yeah, you did. Okay. You did. All right. Well, we're back for round two. You'll start us off. All right. I uh, played college baseball in Texas. I also lived in Mexico for a month, and I hung out one time, true story, with Joe Biden. Oh, Can you repeat the first two? All right. I played college baseball in Texas. I lived in Mexico for a month, and I hung out with Joe Biden. I think number two is a lie. Yep. Yeah, I'll go with number two. Number three. You did, did not hang out with Joe <laughs> Biden. He used reverse psychology. Oh, like he yeah. Because true, <laughs> like, 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 true story. True story. Sure, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. I got think it, our, our podcast producer over here, Alex Tyner, guessed it. <laughs> 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 All right, Hunter, your turn. Okay, so mine is I have met Katy Perry, I have been on a cruise, and I have been to Dubai. You did not meet Katy Perry. Three. Three. They got it. Yes. yes. Let's go. You seem like you've met Katy so Perry before. I actually was at the Tampa Bay airport coming back from a kicking camp at IMG Academy. She was just she, chilling. And she was showing up on the runway and she was getting off and everybody's going crazy. I'm like, what is going on? So I got to like go up to her and like give her a little hug. I'm like, uh, whatever. It's like 530 in the morning and she's not happening. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it was so cool. Okay. Though. <laughs> right. I need the photo. Like, right, we need I the will. photo proof. All right, Bailey, your turn. Okay, so mine is I love sushi. I've never broken a bone, and I love Dr. Pepper. Broken bone. Broken bone. Bone. Um, no, it's Dr. Pepper. I, I strongly dislike Dr. Pepper. No, the funny thing is, yesterday we had a conversation about how much you love sushi, so I knew <laughs> yeah. number one was definitely <laughs> yeah. true. All right, my turn. Um, the first one, I went to Jinx. I also have five siblings, and I've been a gymnast before for three years. Oh. oh man, those are pretty good. I'm gonna say I think siblings. Have three siblings. It's siblings. more than more than five. Do you think it's siblings? I think it's three. No, I have five siblings, guys. Aww. Number three is a lie. I was I not a gymnast it. for three years. I tried gymnastics for approximately two weeks and absolutely hated it. I thought I was gonna die, so I okay. never went back. No. Well, no that's awesome. I'm glad I got to know you guys just a tad bit better. For those that might be considering joining FCA, any words for encouragement to kind of push them to make that step? Mm. Don't don't hesitate. And obviously we know it's a little early, but just get up that little bit earlier. Just come out and join us. Have a donut, obviously. Like it's something to wake up to in the morning and get closer with God and then extra friends that you're able to meet and just come out and try it is all I'm going to say. Yeah, honestly, try it. Obviously, like if it's something that you're not going to do or you have too much plans, we're not going to force you. But it's a great thing to get to know more people, too. Well, awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining Dan and I on the podcast today. Like they said, go ahead and make that step. The sacrifice seems like it's worth it, especially with that donut involved as well. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys next time on the Into the Jungle podcast.